What you have to understand about life is it's hard and it's meant to be. It's the assumption that life is meant to be easy. It's not. It's meant to be hard. When you're in a bad spot in life and your mind is saying all kind of that's who you really are. That's the real you. That's where the growth happens is when you have to force yourself to stay in it. But somewhere along the line, you changed. You stopped being you. You let people stick a finger in your face and tell you you're no good. And when things got hard, you started looking for something to blame, like a big shadow. Let me tell you something you already know. The world ain't all sunshine and rainbows. It's a very mean and nasty place, and I don't care how tough you are, it will beat you to your knees and keep you there permanently if you let it. You, me, or nobody is gonna hit as hard as life. But it ain't about how hard you hit. It's about how hard you can get hit and keep moving forward. How much you can take and keep moving forward. That's how winning is done. Life is not easy. It is not. Don't try to make it that way. Life's not fair. It never was. It isn't now and it won't ever be. Do not fall into the trap, the entitlement trap, of feeling like you're a victim. You are not. Get over it and get on with it. So the question that we got to ask ourselves is what success is to us? What success is to you? Is it more money? That's fine. I got nothing against money. Maybe it's a healthy family. Maybe it's a happy marriage. Maybe it's to help others, to be famous, to be spiritually sound, to leave the world a little bit better place than you found. Continue to ask yourself that question. Now your answer may change over time and that's fine, but do yourself this favor. Whatever your answer is, don't choose anything that will jeopardize yourself. Prioritize who you are, who you want to be, and don't spend time with anything that antagonizes your character. No matter who you are, if you have a goal in life, everybody has a turn back moment. Everybody has a crossroad. You can either decide to continue or to quit, to go forward or to go back. You're gonna always have that decision. People quit when it's at their hardest moment. But if it's at your hardest moment, why would you quit? If you're going through hell, why stop there? Move, keep going. If you give up, you know exactly what's gonna happen, nothing. The reason God wakes you up in the morning is because he still has something for you. If God was through with you, you wouldn't wake up no more. But if you can just manage to wake up tomorrow and just see what tomorrow is, because here's the one thing about it. It might be a challenge, it might be a test, or it might be the wounding. You're struggling right now, and you're pissed off, and you're frustrated. No two things. One, you're not alone. Two, this is necessary for you to get where you want to go. And if you quit, if you falter, if you stop, all the pain will be for nothing. And you need to remember that.